the countdown continues towards next month's World Cup, a provocative new photo spread as people talking. Joining us now with that and more is VOA Sunny Young with the sunny side of sports. Hi, Vincent, and hello to all our In Focus viewers. Here's a sunny side of sports salute for Didier Drogba, the reigning African footballer of the year for Chelsea and Ivory Coast. Drogba capped a victorious season for Chelsea by scoring three goals in an 8-0 rout of Wigan. With the win, Chelsea clinched its third English Premier League title in six years, and Drogba won the Golden Boot Award by scoring a league-high 29 goals for the season. Meanwhile, two popular magazines are featuring Didier Drogba. Time magazine has named Drogba one of its 100 most influential people. And Vanity Fair magazine has Drogba and Portugal's Cristiano Ronaldo on its cover for June in a special World Cup edition that also features Suli Muntari of Ghana and three-time African Footballer of the Year, Samuel Eto of Cameroon. Eto, Muntari, and Drogba should all play key roles at next month's World Cup in South Africa. They were all included on provisional 30-man rosters submitted this week by all the World Cup teams. Those teams will need to trim their rosters to 23 by June 1st. Still with the World Cup, Chief Local Organizer Danny Yordan says he has no doubt all 64 matches will be sold out at the soccer extravaganza. Remember World Cup fans, South Africa will host Mexico in the opening match June 11th at the Soccer City Stadium in Johannesburg. Finally, here's another sunny side of sports salute for Eritrean athlete Zersenai Tedessa. Zersenai's World Half Marathon record was officially ratified this week by the IAAF, the sport's world governing body. He clocked 58 minutes, 23 seconds in Lisbon, Portugal, to break the previous mark held by Olympic marathon champion Sammy Wanjiru of Kenya by 10 seconds. I'm VOA Sonny Young, and that's the sunny side of sports. Back to Dimmy and Vincent.